The school admin can add users one at a time using the Create a User option under the User Management tab in the left-hand navigation. On the Add New User page, you'll need to fill out the following fields, then press Save to add a new user. Username, which is used to log in. It may consist of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, periods, or underscores. This field is required for all user roles. First name and last name. Used to identify the user. The field is required for everyone. In some cases, schools may choose to use aliases for their students. You're free to use any alias for first and last name that will work within your school's internet usage policies. Your options for role are school admin, teacher, teacher aide, lesson creator, and student. See the overview of users in the user guide for more information about each user role. Note that only the school admin users are able to add additional school admins, teachers, teacher aides, or lesson creators to your school's Music First classroom. Teachers are able to add students to your school's Music First site via classes. Title, optional identifier for non-student users. Student display name, used by non-student users. This is how the user's name will appear in front of students. For example, Mr. Smith instead of Bradley Smith. Next is faculty display name, also used by non-student users. This is how the user's name will appear to other non-student users. Shared display info is another option for non-student users. This is how the user's names will appear to other non-student users if you share content within Music First. Emails are required for any non-student users. This is used for login retrieval. Student email addresses are not collected by Music First. If a student forgets their username or password, it's up to the school admin or teacher to help the student reset their password. Password and repeat password are the fields where you designate a password for the user and then repeat the password for confirmation. Once you've filled out the appropriate fields, select Save. To bulk upload students, school admins can again click on the User Management section. Click Bulk Upload New Users. A dialog box will open up with step-by-step -step instructions. In step number one, the text labeled Download the CSV is a hyperlink. Once you click that, the appropriate spreadsheet file will download onto your computer, and you can use that to fill out students' first names, last names, usernames, passwords, and add their class information. So when students are uploaded, their usernames are created, and they're added automatically into classes. If a class hasn't been made already, but it's added into the CSV file to upload students, the class will be created based on the title that's listed in the class column when the CSV file is uploaded. The CSV does not require an email for student users. If you have any questions or comments, please email support at musicfirst.com. Thank you.